This announcement was insane. Steve is in Smash Bros. With this, I feel like Smash Bros has become truly the ultimate crossover fighting game. There's representation of all kinds from all over the gaming industry, from different eras. And now, not only do we have one of the most popular games from the past decade represented, we have the most popular game of all time represented. It's incredible, and I'm overjoyed that Nintendo was able to make it happen. Minecraft was released by Mojang back in May 17, 2009. It would quickly come to prominence and receive continued support in the form of updates. By 2013, the game had hit a popularity peak and once again came into relevance about 10 years after its initial release in 2019. Minecraft was a phenomenon. It was an out of this world smash hit and it shaped the gaming industry. Writing a new book in game design, many games copying Minecraft's formula would come out due to its mainstream success. Now let's take a step back 10 years from Minecraft's release. Super Smash Bros. for the N64, the crossover platformer that would go on to spawn many sequels and countless memories. Starting from humble beginnings and containing a roster of only 12 Nintendo characters, each installment in the series would build on the last. Melee extended the roster to more obscure characters, Brawl brought on even more all-stars, and for the first time, third-party representation. Smash 4 was okay, but also brought more third-party characters, oh my gosh! Now Ultimate, what doesn't it bring to the table? It has a roster of over 80 characters by the end of the Fighters Pass 2, and has truly brought many gaming worlds together, from the classic rivalry of Sonic and Mario, to reuniting the Captain N crew with Mega Man and Simon Belmont, even bringing Banjo back home on a Nintendo console. Ultimate really is the ultimate Smash Brothers, a one-of-a-kind spectacle to behold. Now, cut to October 1, 2020. Steve has been announced, and the world has gone alight. Minecraft is in Smash! Ah! <laughs> okay, sorry about that. You know, the idea of Steve actually being in Smash Bros still feels surreal. Every moment of that trailer felt like a fever dream. But I'm so glad it's real. Super Smash Bros. now has crossed over and brought in one of the biggest icons in gaming history. Ever think about how jarring it is that in this Bing Bing Wahoo <laughs> fighting game, we have Steve and Sans. The Smash team has become more and more open to including any character that's done something for the gaming world. And Byleth. I can't go on. From its humble roots as a simple Nintendo crossover fighter, into one of the most genuinely captivating and lovingly made collections of gaming icons and the history behind them. With what I've seen to be one of the most ambitious movesets, Steve brings not only fun to the table, but a whole new crowd of kids and adults who would love to play as him. Okay, that's all the time I got. I gotta get back to playing Smash Brothers on my Nintendo Switch. You've made it to the end screen. If you liked what you've seen today, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving the video a like. And if you dislike it, give the video a dislike. And don't subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.